Mr. Ritter. Mr. Tyler Ritter is here in studio. Yeah. And you're at Mr. T. Ritter. At Mr. T. Ritter. On I joined Twitter. late, so there weren't a lot of options okay. left for me. <laughs> do you get do you get people tweeting at you mistakenly? Thinking Mr. I'm Mr. T. T. Well, we look a lot alike, yes. and I, I got the voice and the biceps, so it, it makes and just you, comes with the territory. And I you guess. pity fools. And I pity fools. You pity I, fools I, you know, just like him. Fools need pity. Well, I mean, just would think that because you know the first three letters right. at Mr. T, and then sometimes you know um, on my my iPhone I I accidentally hit send. Right. And I'm wondering if and it, that's never happened. It actually no, it has not happened okay. yet. I'm kind of hoping it'll happen <laughs> just to get some cred. <laughs> just get some cred for me. Some cred, some cred. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I didn't even know he was on Twitter. I believe he is. He is. No, I know. At yeah. Mr. T. At Mr. T. I, right. I found that odd today I when know. I'm like, you know, I, I was typing in how you're coming on, and the first I almost hit send. Ah. Oh, but I'm glad well, you're here. If I can get any of his fans, I would be. That would be great. I, I feel and like. And this is he's neat because got... we'll talk about your show, The McCarthy's. Oh, uh, cool. And um, and you're in a fantasy league for the first time. First time. A fantasy league newbie. I'm a newbie. Yeah. I know. It's so. I, it, does it affect you as much as it affects? Yes. Me? This last week was the first week I had a player who was going against my Eagles, and it hurt every part of my soul. Which one is this? I was going for, I had Floyd playing for me, who okay. came up with no points, which is the karma I deserve, I guess, for going right, against yeah. my Eagles. That's so, that's so, if it's had Michael Floyd, right? Yeah. Going against your Eagles, mm -hmm. you almost had the perfect, you know, I mean, where he didn't, he didn't, well, I mean, you needed him to score. No, I, I needed him to score. It was it was a really tough game. I also had Macklin in, though, who I know is one of oh. your nominees, who he is the tore week, it week, up. Week. Yeah. So you would, you would nominate him for week A hundred percent. With the Thursday night football game returning exclusively to NFL Network, that means CBS America's most watched network returns to its regularly scheduled programming that on Thursday night uh, has the premiere in, uh, of the McCarthy's, including... This man, yes, Tyler Ritter, here on the Rich Eisen Show. The McCarthy's premieres Thursday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time on CBS. And you on this program, Tyler, play somebody who knows nothing about sports. Very little, yes. I want my Boston teams to win, but that's only because it's so upsetting for the rest of my family. In your Just, in character. In character, yes. Right. Very different from my real life. Real life, though. Yes. Tyler Ritter, you like the Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles. Even though you grew up here in... Los Angeles. Yes. Where's which, this connective tissue? What's well, going on? I my I had two football teams when I was born in yes. LA, as a lot of us did, um, who then left me when I was at the tender age of like five. Mm -hmm. So I was without a team for the next 12 years until I got accepted into UPenn. Oh. So I was moving to Philadelphia, and my dad's first gift to me as a congratulations for getting into school right. was a, a Donovan McNabb jersey. And it was then that I realized the Eagles were going to be my team from here on until L.A. maybe gets a team. But maybe so. I'll always have the Eagles at heart. So you grew up without football in Los Angeles? Yeah. And were you, were you still watching a little bit of football? I would watch, really? yeah, 49ers were my team. So I got to grow up watching okay. Steve Young. Right. And, um, you know, the Cowboys were always winning. And right. so that was a very easy transition when I got on board with the Eagles to continue hating the Cowboys. But it was born from your dad giving you a Donovan McNabb jersey. Yeah. Was your dad a fan of any teams? He was He was a really big baseball fan, and, and he would, and a Trojans, you know, he liked the, the USC, USC Trojan Trojans. football team. So we would go to those football games. Right. Um, and I think he was a Raiders fan when they were here, but right. it was it was painful when they left us. But so your football fandom was born from a Donovan McNabb jersey. Any any Franklin Field moments that you uh, that you that you enjoyed? Because my my brother went to Penn. Oh yeah, he lived in those towers. Yeah, I, li I lived in one of the towers. In the towers in yeah, Harrison. He, yeah, he lived there. There weren't too many crazy wild parties in those towers. No, there were not. <laughs> so Very much. misleading when you read the pamphlet. It was like <laughs> freshman year is going to be crazy. Everyone leaves their doors open. Ping pong tables. Yeah. But... No, doors were locked. Everybody was studying. Yeah, they're called easy. the Quakers for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I know. So, oh. so the Eagles are your team now. What are your thoughts on uh, the Chip Kelly five and two Philadelphia Eagles? Oh now? man. It's it's, uh, we're having a lot of fun this season. I love Chip. I think he's... He's fun. Uh, he is fun, yeah. He keeps our offense just so fast and, and unpredictable. And uh, with this last game aside, which I'm still heartbroken over, mm -hmm. that final minute Hail Mary from Arizona. Yeah. Um, it's, been a, it's been a great season. Foles has just fit in perfectly to Kelly's system. Mm -hmm. And LaShawn McCoy just continues breaking ankles yeah. week in and week out. And you went ahead in your first fantasy football league foray. Yes. And you draft... You you did the fan thing. 
Yeah. You know, you're supposed to choose people from other teams to yes, balance it I out. Yes, I am learning slowly but surely how to do it. fantasy for a I reason, know, you know. I know, I <laughs> know. But it was so hard for me to do it. I, so I, what Eagles who, do you have on your team? I have uh, I have Macklin. Yeah. I have LaShawn McCoy. He okay. was my first pick overall. Sure. And I got the uh, defense, Eagles defense and special teams. Now, did you not help yourself and get former Eagles too? Did you do that too? Oh, I did. I got Deshaun Jackson. Oh, my gosh. Who also I didn't play this last week. Don't tell me you got McNair. Too, because I have to tell you. <laughs> Hopefully, you stopped. Hopefully, you stopped. Yeah, he's, been, uh, he's, he's not yeah. been helping yeah, me out. <laughs> Maybe this is why I'm in last place. Are you uh, in last place? I'm in last place. Who else is in this league? Um, it's all other CBS actors. So, oh, really? Aisha Tyler. Um, she knows her football. She knows her football. She just destroys me every time we play. And that's really fun. Uh, Lucas Black, who's on sure. NCIS New Orleans. Uh -huh. um, J.B. Smoove, I'm going up against this next week. J.B. Smoove. So I who think does he we, have? Do you, have you looked at his roster yet? Have um, you, does who does, oh, he's starting Rivers this next week. Okay, against um, Miami. That's Against Miami. Right. He's projected to, to make more points. And I think I'm going with Russell Wilson against, against Oakland. Oakland. you got to like that one. I like that one a lot. You or like it's either that or Kaepernick against St. Louis. Interesting. Because Kaepernick just... Went off against on them. St. Louis, yeah. which make, but you, I don't know. It's in San Francisco. If I had to advise, and I don't like to do that uh -huh. because I'm, I'm, even though I am a champion in one of my <laughs> leagues and finished runner-up in last year. Okay, please advise. Uh, yeah. I can advise. <laughs> uh, I would go Russell. Really? Okay. Yeah, I would. You okay. know, because when you face somebody so close after having faced them. Oh. You know, they pick up on some. Yeah, of you know what I mean. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, they might right. shut a couple of things down, and and I think they people are getting on the Seattle offense. I think they got something to prove. They've had a couple of rough weeks in Correct. a row. So that's you know. the way I would go. Yeah. All right, I'm sticking with Wilson. He's who I have right but now. Don't hold me to it. Unfortunately, <laughs> this is on tape. It'll be online. It's on. A, it's oh, on the NFL shucks. Now app. Gosh darn it. <laughs> um, so let's take a look at a clip from the McCarthy's, which premieres on CBS Thursday, 9:30 p.m. Eastern Time. <laughs> I like it. We always love a good Gloria Stefan reference around yeah. here. <laughs> Neat. That's, so it's obviously about a Boston family. Yes. And you are and not I, into sports and right. interesting. And I'm not into sports, and uh, except that I do go for these Boston teams, which is another tough part for me personally, be, being sure. you know a Dodgers, Lakers fan. We have a lot of rivalries with the Boston teams. Oh, of course you do. I heard your wife is from Boston. She is. And she is. Frank's wife was from Boston, so I know. They're we're everywhere, that, so I got to be careful with what I say. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's okay, though. Go Boston teams. There you go. Yeah, certainly since, uh, you know, obviously the McCarthys are, are, are into that, all of that. Right. Um, did you grow up around sitcom sets like that? Yes. Would that just be a, a safe assumption? Yeah, that, that's a so safe assumption. So what's this like for you to actually be doing this sort of thing now on a, on a show that's going to be on yeah. CBS on a Thursday night, which is the night yeah, to have it's, a show on uh, TV? It's surreal. It's a dream. It's it's the dream job where I get to incorporate sports into you know the sitcom world. Right. A lot of the episodes, you know, we're actually playing basketball in it. I have to make a couple shots. And, mm -hmm. and so uh, growing up playing basketball, it all feeds into this role. And, right. Um, I have an amazing cast with me, Lori Metcalf, Jack McGee, Joey McIntyre, um, Jimmy Dunn, Kelly Coleman. I should just list the whole family. They're right, all sure. amazing. We're having so much fun. Uh, a lot of sports references, and uh, we have an amazing writing staff, and uh, you're in for some big laughs. Excellent. That I can promise. Well, I'm yeah. very excited for you, man. This is, uh, this is neat stuff, and yeah. uh, you got the Eagles in Houston this week. I know. Yeah, that's that, that's going to be uh, – that, that one – uh, that's, that, that's that's ripe. I know it's going to be tough. That's, that's, JJ Watt. I know Houston's defense is looking pretty solid. This is ripe. I don't yeah. know. This is a tough one. Yeah. And then you've got the games against Dallas coming up too. So. Yeah, which are always fun, yeah. just for the rivalry. Right. You know, but not necessarily for my fantasy points. When was the last time you were at Lincoln Financial? I never made it. From the time I got into Penn, every game was sell sold out. I could never get tickets to a game. No kidding. But there's something fun about going out to the bars with people in Philly. Of right. course, I waited till my junior year when I was 21. Of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. Um, but, uh, Philly fans, man, they are something special. They are. I did not know what I was getting into well, coming from passionate. LA. They are it, the passionate. passion is amazing, and it never stops, you know. And and going growing up, going to Dodger games, it's a, just a different vibe. Well, I know you, you have know? to prove yourself with Philly fans when you come from out here, right? Right. Yeah. Because they they and and I'm a New Yorker uh -huh. growing up and looking at fans such as yourself and yeah. thinking that you're weak and soft. That's okay. But I come I'm out here it. now. I I but I <laughs> I have I have transformed. 
Okay. I, I want to leave to beat the traffic sometimes. At I, you see, you know, I would never leave games early, but sometimes with my family, we'd wait near the exits and we'd see the last mm. pitch and then we'd run out because right. it, it makes a difference. Two hours you might be sitting there. Exactly. So. It's, and until you've been in this traffic, yeah, you, you don't cannot, understand. You, you don't, don't quite get it. Yeah, no, no, it's sort it's of horrible. like parenthood. You know, you don't understand it until you're actually exactly, in it. Exactly, yeah. Uh, Tyler Ritter, uh, at Mr. T. Ritter on Twitter, and the McCarthy's premieres Thursday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time on CBS. Good to see you. Thanks Thank for coming Thank you so on. much, you bet. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience. <laughs>